The Lord Jesus did miracles. Some called them a sign. He started all these by turning water to wine. The people they watched, they thought it was great. Nicodemus visited Jesus. He did it quite late. He sneaked through the shadows, not to be seen. To speak to the Lord Jesus, he was so keen. He asked about heaven, he was so eager to learn. And who exactly was Jesus, was his great concern. He was told of a time, many centuries ago, a bronze snake raised up so that all could know. If they looked at the snake, they'd be assured. Of their poisonous bites, they would be cured. It was just a picture telling us of God's great plan. Jesus would be raised on a cross to save sinful man. He was told of sin, something that God can't stand. Yet God loves the world, and this is what he planned. There's a consequence of sin, wrong rebellion and vice. Eternal separation from God is its ultimate price. Jesus paid the price. He suffered in our place. God offers us his great love. But will we embrace? When we embrace God's love and believe in his Son, when we trust in him and the work that he's done, God's great promise is that we won't suffer for our sin. Eternal life in heaven is ours because we trust in him. God, who is holy, didn't send his Son to condemn. He showed his great love. He died for all men. Have you trusted in him? Are your sins forgiven? Have you accepted God's Son, who for us was given? Nicodemus, he trusted. He believed in God's Son. Years later, he spoke up when it had to be done. He took down the Lord's body. In a tomb it was sealed. The Lord Jesus rose from the dead as he had revealed. Nicodemus's actions showed what he believed. His sins were forgiven when Christ he received. God's forgiveness is for everyone, for me and for you. God loves you. Christ died for you. What will you do?